guys, Keto for Real Life People here, and today I want to talk about cheat day on keto. Can you really enjoy a cheat day on keto um, and still lose weight? Is it all right to go off plan? Um, how do we enjoy life and still lose weight? Well, that's what we're going to cover today. Um, I want to start out by saying that a, a lot of folks come to me and they're like, is it okay, what is the difference between having a cheat day, uh, a carb cycle, or a carb up, and what are they? So, um, here's, we're gonna start, okay? Now, I, <laughs> here, I have my own thoughts about um, what a carb cheat day is. I do it all the time. I do, I, I'll be really honest with you guys. First of all, um, I, call my YouTube page or my Facebook group, everything I do is Keto for Real Life People. And the reason I call it Real Life People is because um, we don't diet. Keto is a way of life. It is a complete lifestyle change, okay? This means that for the rest of my life, I am going to stay away from flowers, grains, beans, fruits, sugars, pastries, most restaurants, and heck, uh, let's face it, there's 90% of the food at the grocery store that, um, you know, I'll just never eat for the rest of my life. With that being said, people are like, well, you know, how do you avoid food boredom? You know, we don't want to eat just eggs every single day. Well, <laughs> you don't really have to, okay? Um, Real life is being able to eat to satisfy your hunger, but it's also about celebrating. It's also about special occasions. It's all about, you know, vacations. Things are gonna happen in life, and we need to be ready for them. So, so how do you deal with all of these situations, um, plus the everyday in and out, and not get bored, and still not feel deprived, and feel like, you know, hey, I got this. Ain't no thing but a chicken wine, baby. I'm gonna be keto for the rest of my life. Well, here's how I do it, okay? And here's how I, I advise people who um, experience, oh my gosh, I went off track. I, I was at my, you know, nephew's birthday, and I ate cake, or, you know, I was out with the family, and got the thing, and I ate chips and salsa. You know, it, you hear it all the time, and I think every single one of been there, done that. So I want to kind of go over how to eat keto and be successful, but still not feel deprived and still get a cheat day. And it's not what you think, guys. No, you don't get to go in and out and get a big old burger. Sorry, there's no Baskin Robbins, but Robbins uh, special ice cream day. There isn't any of that. But here is what you can do to enjoy a successful way of eating on the keto. Okay, so let's start out with clean eating. Clean eating is what we should be doing at least five days a week. And when I say eating clean on keto, I always, always say make sure that you're eating a very high fat, quality natural fat diet with moderate protein and low carbs, 25 net carbs or less a day, okay? If you can focus on putting your fats first, and if you are having eggs in the morning for breakfast, make sure that you add extra butter on top. Just pour the butter out of the pan or the baking fat. Add that little bit. Add avocado. You know, you eat clean. Or maybe you're eating porridge in the morning with chia seed and flax seed and you're adding butter and you're adding heavy cream and maybe some cinnamon to it and maybe some walnuts. It's satisfying. It's delicious. It's super healthy. And you can eat be satisfied and then maybe later in the day because on keto we really only eat like twice a day okay as you get it past weeks three or four and you get past the first month of keto your appetite is going to just train, change drastically so what you're going to do is focus five days a week on eating good clean proteins i mean throw some chicken or some steak or some ribs or some kielbasa whatever it is out on the grill you know and it's good and 
fat, put some butter with some garlic and herbs all in it and melt it over the top. Maybe you're doing some really good veg, maybe some sauteed zucchini or maybe some broccoli that you tossed in some avocado oil and garlic and maybe squeezed lemon juice all over. This is good keto clean living. And you know what? It's very satisfying, very rich, tasty, and some even call it luxurious food. So eating clean for me is one of my favorite things to do. And I will tell you, at five days a week, I am all about it. But then comes my social life, my real life, you guys. I do have a little bit of a social life, not huge, but it's big. And we have the summer upon us. We have cookouts. We have Memorial Weekend. We have Fourth of July coming up. And oh my gosh, the birthday parties are going to be endless starting this Saturday. <laughs> I have 15 grandchildren, and we are starting birthday party season, <laughs> plus my children's birthdays. So what am I going to do? What do you do when you face these things? What do you do when you've been eating clean five days a week? Here's what you do. Think about the fun keto foods that aren't on the bottom of the pyramid, okay? Because on the bottom of the pyramid, you've got your meats, your green veggies, and your fats. These things we wanna eat lots of, we wanna eat a lot of fat, we wanna enjoy it. But then there's that mid level, okay? The step above where you don't eat as much. These things include your dairy, um, your berries, they include certain vegetables like squash and tomatoes, eggplant, different vegetables that um, aren't on the eat it freely every single day, all day long type of deal. Then you go up to that next little stage and then you have your, you know, what I call keto fun foods, all right? Who would want to sit around every single day eating pizza? Unless you're a college student or a teenager or a kid, I do not want to sit around eating pizza um, seven days a week. I would not lose weight and I would not feel great and it would be just too much dairy and too much, uh, you know, almond flour and too much sausage or pepperoni or whatever, but that is a perfect example of a pizza night. When I was raising my children, it was a special treat. Pizza wasn't a staple, it was something that we did once a week or once every other week, you know, or we would have movie night and we would be like, oh, we're going to break out with popcorn and ice cream. Well, I don't pop up with popcorn, but I do eat ice cream, and to me that is a cheat. And there are plenty of recipes out there, you guys, that you can make your own simple ice creams. I've done it. I've made it with strawberries and whipped cream and a little bit of gelatin. Um, and you just put it all in the blender, mix it up, pop it in the freezer, and it's delicious, okay? Again, fat bombs are another thing that um, when you're first starting keto, they can be your lifesaver. They can be your anchor to keep you going on keto and help get you through your withdrawal symptoms of, you know, carbohydrate addiction and sugar addiction. Now for me, they are cheat day foods. If I feel like making chocolate fat bombs on the weekend and having some while I'm watching some movies, it's a blast. Um, other foods that are great keto cheat days, almond pancakes. Most of the week, I eat, like I said, very clean. It's either eggs, bacon, sausage, or it's uh, warm chia seed pudding, porridge pudding, whichever you like to call it. But on the weekends, I like country breakfast. That's when I'm like, ooh, country breakfast would be really great. Maybe I'll make up almond flour pancakes and make up my own keto maple syrup, which is just a little cup of water with a tablespoon of erythritol and some maple extract. I mean, how easy is it to make maple syrup? Now again, I don't want to live on sweeteners, but come Saturday when I have my breakfast, I'm like, the weekend is for fun. The weekend is for pancakes and pizza and let me see, fat bombs, um, la, 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 out to dinner, okay? That's, that's another thing that I and my husband enjoy. He's gone five days a week. Um, <laughs> And we like to go out at least once, either for lunch or for dinner. And I will say this about going out uh, and having a cheat day at a restaurant. Be very careful and be very mindful because the, the ingredients they use to cook their food with are not keto friendly. Doesn't mean you can never 
or have it? No, it doesn't mean that at all. But what it does mean is, um, it, it's not a way of life for me. It's, it used to be a once a week thing, now it's about a twice a, a month thing for me, just because I don't like um, how my body reacts to it. I mean, that's one of the perks, I guess. I think it's a perk. You know, I've been keto solid now for going on six months, and um, I've gotten to where I'm not as eager to run out to a restaurant because I know that the canola oils or whatever kind of oils they're using or whatever is in their seasonings is going to cause me some inflammation, some swelling, and some bloating. And I eat clean in these restaurants. I order a salad with some ranch dressing or some olive oil. I order steamed broccoli and ask them to bring me butter. If they have real butter, they do. If not, it's the yucky chemical stuff. And I order a steak, you know, a six ounce steak with extra butter. And it doesn't taste as good as it used to. But I enjoy the time out with my husband. So for me, it's a cheat day. And then let's talk about alcohol. Um, can you have it? And if, if you do, what should you avoid and what can you have on your cheat day? Um, I like to socially drink with my in-laws once a week. You know, we get together, we, we karaoke, we play cards, we go swimming, we do whatever. Once a week we gather and do something and there's always some alcohol involved. I have my two favorites are red wine with sparkling water. Uh, you can use San Pellegrino, you can use Perrier. I like to buy LaCroix or Dasani, and I buy the berry flavor, and I use a two ounce portion of red wine to as much sparkling water as you like to make your glass of wine. You can do the same thing with white wines. Just make sure that the wines you choose are not sweet wine. We don't want sweet reds, sweet blends, we don't want Moscatos uh, or, or Grigios because they have a higher sugar content. So that's my choice for a cheat night, is to go out and have a few drinks with my family. Um, also, if I'm gonna be drinking liquors, your basic liquors like um, vodka, whiskey, rum, tequila, gin, along that line, so long as they are pure alcohol, grain alcohol, and they're not flavored with sugary uh, syrups, uh, you can have those. Again, I use club soda or sparkling flavored waters. I do occasionally have a, a, a diet cola with it, like a Sprite or something like that. But I, I even those taste too sweet to me. But what I wanted to illustrate to you guys is that you can have fun with your food. You can have a blast with your food. If you are a creative person and you like to eat in the kitchen, you can make certain things up ahead. You can make your own breads up, your own jellies, your own condiments, just to make life a little easier for you. Um, you can also uh, make pancakes up in a large batch, put some in the freezer and have them ready so you don't have to work hard. And you can really enjoy keto cheat days. Eat clean five days a week and then for two days on the weekend, give yourself some slack and enjoy your time. That's how you cheat on I call it a cheat day. It makes me feel like I'm doing something I shouldn't. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Now, I will, add, I will add to this. Besides the cheat day, here's the other thing for you to know. Um, what is the difference between carving up and carb cycling? And does it play with the whole cheat day thing? Do they all three tie together? I kind of think they do. You know, I have lost 55 pounds in five months. And I do enjoy real life. I do drink an occasional, guys, an occasional diet cola. Is it good for me? No. Is it keto approved? No. Am I going to drink it anyway? Yes. I'll be honest. Yes, I am going to have a diet coke if I feel like it. Will it slow me down a little bit? Yes. Am I worried about it? No. No, I'm not. Because I use keto to my advantage because I plan on doing this for the rest of my life. I'm not in a race to lose a whole bunch of weight and live so strict that I can't enjoy friends, family, and special occasions and enjoy food. I'm going to use it to my advantage and um, if I want to enjoy a drink and realize that I might only lose a half a pound or not even a pound that week, I'm totally cool with it. But 
I do carve up, and, th and this is really good, when you're eating clean all week long, five days of pure keto, keeping those carbs down low, keeping that fat high, uh, keeping your protein right in that zone so you're not overeating it. I find that I'm successful with my cheat days, my carb up days is what I call them. You can also call it carb cycling, where you are eating really, really clean. And then you add those extras, you know, like extra cheese or making cheese tacos. And I enjoy the dairy, you know, I'm making the pizzas. This is how my body says, oh, she changed it up on me again. You know, all week long, she, here she was on this clean, 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 clean. And so my body says, ah, I'm used to this. And then I change it up. So it's double down. It's two good things happening at once, you know. I'm still enjoying life. I'm still enjoying the foods that I enjoy. Um, but I'm just eating clean during the week. I hope that you guys have found this really helpful because a lot of people ask me, how? How are you losing that weight? What are you eating? What are you doing? Well, I'm going to be doing a part two to this. Um, and it's going to be how I lost 55 pounds and what did I eat? So that one's going to be coming up here very shortly. But this is, this is how I enjoy my cheat days. This is how I get to enjoy real life and still keep my weight loss going. Now, I hope you all enjoyed this. If you haven't subscribed to Keto for Real Life People on YouTube yet, please do me a favor and tap the subscribe button down below. I really appreciate that. And if you want to get notified every time that I pop in here and you know, bring something new to the table, you know, go ahead and hit the notification button. Um, also, I, I would like to say if you feel like you want to uh, donate towards my Patreon account so that I can continue to keep making good content, that would be awesome. Um, I will be popping the links in for Patreon. And if you haven't found a good support group yet, go to Keto for Real Life People on Facebook. We are 6,000 strong. We are working together. No one gets left behind, and it is one of the most loving, supportive atmospheres you're ever going to find. I hope that you guys have enjoyed this video. I enjoy bringing it to you, and I can't wait to get to part two. Eat clean. Enjoy the weekends. Pick your days. Be ready for special occasions. Look at Pinterest. Do all the things that you can do, and realize that you are not in a race. You are on a journey, and guess what, guys? You're not alone. Have a great day.